And then just to begin, would you please say and spell your name? Hi, I'm Chuck Thalen, C-H-U-C-K, T is in Tango, H-E-L-E-N. And then what is your title? I'm the Vice President of North America Goshen Incorporated, and I am responsible for the Michigan Material Facility. I will be the, the general manager in charge. And let's talk to me a little bit about, you mentioned early, uh, earlier that <coughs> just yesterday you started down cutting on the trees. Mm -hmm. Kind of talk to me a little bit about what that process is, kind of why are you cutting on the trees? Sure, well we have plans for submitting all of our permit applications for wetland, air, water quality, all that stuff by the end of March. Um, that means that we can start uh, moving dirt somewhere around early fall. So on the upland areas, we've been cleared by the regulatory agencies to go ahead and take trees down as long as we don't encroach within the wetland areas. So that's what we're doing is we're getting a head start. So we are cutting trees but not clearing stumps because they won't let us move dirt until we have the proper permits. And then <clears> after <throat> this tree cutting process, what is kind of the next step for you guys? The next step is securing permits, right? So there's a lot of <laughs> red tape that you have to go through on a project of this size and scope. So that involves uh, Michigan Eagle, Drain Commissioner, um, EPA, Army Corps of Engineers. It's a wide plethora of people that you have to please. How's that for three Ps? Uh, uh, that you have to please to get these permits submitted. So really for your guys' kind of building timeline, you're really in those beginning stages. We've been planning for about eight months now. So you have to, an awful lot of planning goes in a, a project of this size. So we're getting towards the end of the planning and towards the start of execution. And then to kind of venture into, how have, I know we were <coughs> previously talking, you have attended some of the Green Charter Township meetings. Mm -hmm. With the new board, how is that relationship going between you guys? The relationship with the board is, I'll say, amicable but legalistic. Um, but it is surprising how many times, every time I go into a Green Township board meeting, on the way out, somebody else reaches their hand out to shake my hand to thank me for bringing this possibility to the, to the county and the, the community. And then when you fully get you know, more of the process going, you get buildings, where is your kind of hiring process standing right now? That's a great question. So I attended the Laprino job fair when they announced that they were uh, releasing some people. We were able to bring one person over from there for our HR department. We just had our construction manager start this week, office manager starts next week, and by the end of the year we will have 55 employees. By the end of the next year it will be 200. And then anything else you'd like to share? Anything else I want to share? I know you mentioned kind of like layout wise mm -hmm. what you were kind of planning to do with like conserving the wetland. Mm -hmm. Right, so when we put together the plans for this facility. We want it to be friendly to the employees and, and the community. So you'll have a green strip around the perimeter uh, so you won't have to look into the gates if you don't wish to. And we'll have our, our target to have some walking trails through some of this beautiful lush uh, uh, Michigan northern uh, uh, scenery out here. And just make it a, a nice place for people to work at. Um, and another topic, if you ask what I'd like to add, um, in 2018, Goshen was selected by the Department of Energy under the Trump administration to execute a project for development of uh, the electrolyte and the cathode, partnering with the big three in the United States. We executed that project under the Trump and the Biden administration under the DOE supervision. Um, so we're, we're no stranger to working with the government, and I think we're going to be doing a lot more of that in the near future. And then just to circle back to the like, timeline, when do you hope to have this project completed by? We expect to have a limited production by the end of 2025. That product then goes into product validation, which takes three to six months. And then by 2026, first quarter, we should be in full production um, with at least one or two lines and then ramping up. You can't just flick a switch on a project this big. But yeah, our ramp up schedule begins 2026, first quarter. And then anything else you'd like to add? I'm just excited to bring this type of financial uh, opportunity to the community. Um, again, I was at a, the high school career fair yesterday. I had 150 kids walk up to the table and say, hey, what's Goshen? And I explained it to them and they said, great, so I can get a job out of the high school and stay home? I said, yes, you can stay in Big Rapids. And they were excited to hear that. Thank you so much, Chuck. Yeah, thank you.